Welcome back to Classic Replay. In this episode, we'll be taking a peek into the world of the renowned Apple II, the computer that helped to revolutionize personal computing in the 1980s. The Apple II helped pave the way for contemporary computing as we know it, with its sleek form, innovative features, and diverse variety of applications. The Apple II has made an unmistakable influence on the history of technology. From iconic games like the Oregon Trail and Prince of Persia to the pioneering applications like VisiCalc and AppleWorks. The Apple II has made an everlasting effect on technological history. In this video, we'll look at all the numerous marvels of this legendary system. I'm talking iconic gaming software. Now for something different. Let me tell you a tale about a game so grand. It left us all spellbound in a magical land. The Bard's Tale was its name on the Apple II computer. A game that brought adventure with each step and each figure. With a loot in his hand and a song on his lips, the Bard set forth on his epic trips. Through dungeons and forest he roamed free. With each quest his legend grew for all to see. Oh, let me tell you about a game so fine. A classic one from another time. It's called Bruce Lee on Apple II. And I'm gonna rhyme it up for you. The game's a martial arts masterpiece. Filled with kicks, punches and fierce beast. You take control of the man himself and battle foes with speed and stealth. The game's a classic in every sense. Filled with action, puzzles and suspense. You take on the role of the Dark Knight and fight against evil with all your might. The graphics may be old and lo-fi but the gameplay still makes you feel alive. It's a classic game that will always endure, a masterpiece that will forever be pure. The graphics may be old and pixelated, but the gameplay is still highly rated. As you make your way through each location, you must fight enemy foes and overcome frustration. The game's a martial arts delight, with moves that will keep you up all night. You play as a hero on a mission to rescue a princess from her prison. Let me take you back to the 80s, when games were simple but oh so weighty. Ultima 1 on Apple II, a game that set the standards anew. You create a character of your own and explore the world so vast and unknown. Ultima 1 may be old and grey, but its gameplay is still fresh today. Oregon Trail on Apple II, a game that'll take you on a journey anew. You'll lead a wagon train out west through mountains, rivers and the wilderness as you manage your supplies and your crew, making decisions both hard and new. Oregon Trail may be from another time, but its gameplay is still quite sublime. Come retro gamers, gather round with glee. And let me tell you of a game, Choplifter by name. On Apple II, it was a sight to see. You take the reins of a chopper so bold and fly into enemy territory so cold. Your mission is to save hostages, one and all, but beware of the foes, both big and small. A game from the past so long ago. A game called Load Runner, don't you know? The game was simple yet so clever. With traps and ladders, it was a game forever. You played a runner running from foes, collecting gold and avoiding their blows. Load Runner on Apple II is a game that's still beloved by me and you. In ancient Persia, there was a tale of a prince so brave he could never fail. On Apple II, his story unfurled a game that was both daring and surreal. The prince was locked in a dungeon deep, with guards and traps he could not sleep. But with his sword and wit so keen, he fought his way to be the prince so serene. A classic that will never be surpassed, a game that forever will last. In the vast expanse of space so vast, there lived a game that made hearts blast. Elite was its name, on Apple II it shone. A game that was ahead of its time and well known. The game was a space simulation with trading, fighting and exploration. 
As you flew around in your spaceship, engaging with pirates and making alliances, the graphics were stunning for its time, with a 3D world that was so sublime. As you soared through space and docked at stations, the game gave you the sense of true liberation. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this YouTube video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And maybe ring that bell. Until next time, bye!